She brought a bright light. Reverend Vance Ross says members of his own congregation can't believe Reverend Marita Harrell was murdered. Deeply dedicated to the faith and to the ministry that claims the faith. Reverend Harrell became pastor of Connections at Metropolitan, also in southwest Atlanta. Police found her body Wednesday night inside her van in DeKalb County. This marvelous life taken tragically, taken too quickly. One of uh, Reverend Harrell's final sermons was about generosity, giving of one's time. That's exactly what she was doing on Wednesday. Fifty-seven-year-old Reverend Marita Harrell, the senior pastor at Connections at Metropolitan UMC, had a smile that could light up an entire room. Many who knew her said her face was a reflection of God's love. She loved everyone, no matter their walk of life. She had an open, wonderful, and accepting heart and was always willing to learn about new people. Helping others was her passion. Her family often expressed their concerns about some of the people she was mentoring. But she explained to them that God had put a calling on her life to help those in need. Marita was also a fierce advocate for her two daughters and a loving wife to her husband. On the evening of May 18th, Reverend Harold failed to show up at her home. Growing concerned, her husband and eldest daughter went looking for her by tracking her phone. Her phone would eventually ping along the isolated coffee road where they would find an abandoned van. Inside, they would find a gruesome discovery. The pastor was later found dead in the van, partially burned. According to the church website, Harold was the pastor of Connections at Metropolitan United Methodist Church. She's lived in the Atlanta area for more than 30 years. She leaves behind a husband of 27 years and two daughters. It's like a hole in there. It's like an aching, aching hole. When Vincent Scott woke up Friday morning, he realized he would never again get the chance to walk with his close friend, Reverend Marita Harrell. We walked all, all the time, two or three times a week. The two met in 92. Harrell was a Sunday school teacher at the time, but she eventually worked her way up the ranks in the United Methodist Church. Faith was central to her career, central to her being. DeKalb County Police would determine that she had been stabbed to death at a home along Panola Road. Her body was then dumped into a van driven to a remote location and set on fire in an attempt to cover up the crime. Police were quickly able to track the crime back to 27-year-old Christopher Griggs using the Reverend's phone. Reverend Harold had a counseling session with Griggs the same night she was found deceased. Those close to the pastor said she often reached out to young adults to help them turn their life around. A closer look into court records indicate that Griggs should not have been out and free the night Reverend Harold was killed. Griggs has run into several legal issues over the past few years. One of those issues was supposed to be addressed late last month in court, but records indicate he never showed. Gwinnett County Judge Deborah R. Fluger issued a bench warrant for Griggs' arrest earlier this month after failing to appear for a hearing on April 28th. His charges date back to August 2020, when police said Griggs walked into a Gwinnett County car dealership's lot dressed as a detective with handcuffs, a gun, and a badge. According to witnesses, he claimed a vehicle in for repair was part of a hit-and-run investigation, and he needed to take it. The young man then drove off the lot. Police said the dealer followed him and eventually confronted him, not believing Griggs. Eventually, police said Griggs told investigators that the vehicle belonged to a family member, and he was trying to swap out good parts on the vehicle for faulty ones from another vehicle so that insurance would end up paying for it. Griggs was booked into the Gwinnett County Adult Detention Center, where he would spend the next two months. Jail records indicate he was free for only 12 days before being arrested again for posing as an officer, but this time DeKalb County Police said he sexually battered a woman. Griggs was dressed in a tactical police uniform when he approached the woman in a parking garage off Redan Road. He used the threat of arrest to hold her against her will and overpowered her. The woman was able to eventually get away and called 911. After a month in jail, Griggs was charged with attempting to take a guard's firearm. He would eventually be transferred to the Fulton County Jail in March, where records show he spent the next year. It was late last fall when Reverend Harold entered Griggs' life. She began to mentor the young man and give counsel. Despite her efforts, court records indicate Griggs missed two court hearings in Gwinnett County after he was released, 
once at the end of March and the other at the end of April. Bench warrants will be issued for his arrest after each. A judge denying bond to the suspect linked to the death of an Atlanta pastor. Christopher Griggs is in custody tonight at the DeKalb County Jail. He made his first court appearance virtually. Today, he is charged with malice murder and arson in the death of 57-year-old Marita Harrell. What she did has absolute world importance. Police say Griggs had a criminal past. Reverend Harrell was counseling him, even though her family begged her not to. My dear sister, I wish we had known, someone had known to say, we need you, we need the work you do, and we need you. We need you to be careful. Reverend Ross says Harold was committed to helping low-income people of color, especially people who felt alienated from society. She meant to do what she meant to do, and that is be a part of liberating people from any aspect of life that was keeping and holding them down. Reverend Marita Harrell's family is still in disbelief and say that her legacy will live on through them and the many people she touched. Nearly 48 hours after the news of her passing, the community came together for an online vigil late Friday evening. Reverend Vance Ross, senior pastor at Central United Methodist Church, led a special prayer for comfort, healing, and peace. Members of the UMC community across Metro Atlanta attended shared stories, and joined in prayer. You just have to stay positive and focused. Hallelujah. Sounds of praise, despite sorrow that fills connections in Metropolitan United Methodist Church. We lift up today the joy, the light, the ministry. My God. Reverend Marita Harrell remembered at the pulpit where she'd usually be preaching on Sunday morning. Such a dear friend and a dear pastor. DeKalb County police say Harold was murdered by a man she was trying to help. 27-year-old Christopher Griggs is charged with murder and arson after police say he stabbed the minister who was mentoring him and then set her on fire. Parishioners knew something was wrong when Reverend Harold didn't show up to Wednesday night Bible study. We didn't know. We just didn't know. It was a shock. Church leaders who spoke in service today say Reverend Harrell was constantly ministering to people in need, no matter what their situation. We were angry. We were hurt. We asked questions. But as believers, as children of God, we know that he is, as I said, the great I am. And we just look to him from our help come from. And so the church keeps singing and praying, knowing Reverend Harrell is somewhere better than her pulpit. She's in heaven now, so she doesn't have to deal with any more pain. Christopher Griggs was arrested late Thursday evening and charged with malice murder and first-degree arson. Funeral services have not yet been announced. She might say, trust God, and you will be all right. You will heal. That's one Marita. Another Marita would say, get over it. You know, I'm going to see you in heaven. She had lots of different angles.